Hi guys, welcome to my channel and as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be doing a DIY haircut at home. The look I'm going for today is kind of a short French bob with a little bit of either a fringe or a curtain bang, I'm not sure yet. Technically it's not a full 100% DIY, my boyfriend is going to be helping me today um, because it is going to be short hair, it's a lot harder for me to see and help myself with my hair in the back and making sure it's even. So if you have someone who you trust to cut your hair, um, I would have someone help you. If you wanna to try to do this yourself, by all means. Longer hair is a little more forgiving. If my hair was longer and I was keeping it longer, I would just do it myself because um, I could see a little bit easier and kind of flip my hair around a certain way to see. If you have long hair and you're looking for a long haircut trim tutorial, go check out Brad Mondo's channel. He also has a really good bang one too if you're feeling the bang situation, which I am. I feel comfortable having my boyfriend cut my hair. I don't know why, I just think he takes direction really well. So um, if you're really clear, he usually gets it. And he's like, yeah, okay. Um, when I asked him to cut my hair, he's like, okay and I was like I'm gonna film it and he's like okay so <laughs> he's obviously gonna be really enthusiastic first things first when you're cutting your hair you need to have a game plan set yourself up for success um, don't don't just put it in a ponytail and chop it if that worked for you that's awesome if you think it's going to work for you and you want to do it anyway do it um, this is just me personally and what I'm recommending uh, disclaimer, I am not a hairstylist, hairdresser, nor do I claim to be. This is just for pure entertainment value. <laughs> I've cut my hair and trimmed my hair before when it was longer, so that's kind of why I feel more comfortable. Plus, I watched like 50 videos of at-home haircuts and watching professional hairstylist tips and tricks. So that's why I feel okay doing it. Uh, my hair is already washed. I washed it last night. I'm going to straighten it out so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better and keeping things even. If your hair is curly, cut it curly. If your hair is straight, cut it straight and dry. I'm cutting my hair dry, by the way. I don't think I said that. I'm gonna be doing my hair in sections and cutting it one length, one section at a time. And then I'm gonna go back in and point cut. Then I'm going to texturize it and kind of thin it out. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So people think my hair is thick when they grab my ponytail. It is not, it is fine. I just have a high quantity of fine hair in case you need to know for your own sake. If you have fine hair, you might not need to do the texturizing and thinning that I'm going to do, just so you know. So the things we're gonna need for this haircut are gonna be some hair cutting scissors from Sally's. You can get these for like 15 bucks and a little Hair eraser, same thing, 10, 15 bucks. You can buy more expensive ones, but I don't think it's necessary. We're also going to need hair ties and some hair clips. If you're wondering why I look so damn sexy, it's just because I feel like the transformation will be bigger and more satisfying. Um, I know that my hair looks super good right now. I call this my bonnet. It's ballet in the front and jazz in the back. If you're a dancer, you'll get it. Another thing is that I have two of my nails have popped off. I'm just gonna honestly glue them back on and put them on for the whole look to come together. I'm also wearing a accidentally bleached hoodie because I am the epitome of glamour. And now I'm gonna just show you what my hair looks like down. So this is the length of my hair. It's about here, a few inches below my collarbone, my clavicle, not loving it. We're gonna, we're probably gonna go to the first we're probably gonna go to the first neck crease-ish, maybe slightly longer, I'm not sure. I, I do wanna give myself some room for air, but we will see. I am going to go straighten my hair, 
do a little makeup so that I feel a little better about myself and we'll come back and start cutting. We're back. We're looking cute. Uh, let's straighten the damn hair. Some of you may say, no, your hair is so pretty, you don't cut it. I'm gonna cut it. I'm really offended that my hair decided to look really good uh, the day I'm gonna cut it, so. That's cool. Has this been open the whole time? That's embarrassing. Are you about to work out? Well, if you're taking tomorrow off, you might as well. We just plan on working out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What? Try to do three days a week. But... You're an overachiever. Uh, that's really not the story of my life, man. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's one aspect of my life where I don't cheat. In running? No. Math? Music. Oh? Huh? I was not. That was so cute. You're so smooth. Okay. So first, I think I want to get a length. And what I want to do is I want my hair to barely fit in a ponytail. So I'm going to do like a half ass ponytail here. And then grab that pull it out and see where that falls. Mm. It might not fit in a ponytail because I want it to be like here. Hmm. Let's just do it anyway. Whatever. Who fucking cares? I'm gonna section up my hair. And the reason I'm doing that and not all my hair at once is it's easier to cut it, keep an even line. So first, we want to part this all the way down the middle. I'm going to do this to make sure <laughs> real quick billy goat it up <laughs> this keeps being an issue that's as good as it's gonna get all right apex top point of the head is about here and we want to go behind the ear that looks pretty even but now I just want to make sure I match that on the other side I want to have like three straight sections here. So hopefully Brian can help me with that. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I need help with. What I want is you see how my hair is sectioned off kind of mm -hmm. like I have four quadrants here, here, here. Mm -hmm. I also want my own subsections. I want one here and here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Does that make sense? So you want three sections on each? Yes, correct. I want them to kind of be even sized and I can't see the back of my head, which is part of why I need you. <laughs> um, would it be best if I get an extra mirror and hold it? Or do you trust me enough? 
I trust you. So what I want you to do is, and I'm just gonna show you how to separate hair real quick. When, when you put hair through like that, and what you do is you just put your finger right underneath and that separates it. Yeah. Okay, and we want three sections. Yes. Um, and you've already got the part down the middle. Yeah. Sort of, I see. I know it's uh, not perfect, I but I don't really care. It's actually not bad, okay. There's like one spot up so here. So basically one down. and then two mm -hmm. like that. Two then. lines. Straight? Uh, straighter than what you had. <laughs> yeah, you might want, want me to do that again. You want to back up? So as see. long as it matches the other side when you get to it, I don't care. No, you're going to cut it. Huh. Okay. Smell it. What? Smell it. Smells like chocolate? vanilla? Chocolate. Something. Like dessert, chocolate. something desserty. Like hot chocolate? Yeah, something like desserty yeah. but not fruity. Yeah, they put Ooh. they put stuff in it. You want to lick it? Yeah, I was gonna say it's like the, it makes the you stickers eat it. that you want to lick when you're a little kid and then scratch it sniff. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, you're gonna use this comb, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my head kind of my chin down, mm -hmm. and the length I'm basically thinking is about here. Should we draw a marker around your neck? There's not, no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. So what you wanna do is you'll comb the hair through mm -hmm. to the length that I'm thinking, mm -hmm. and then you're going to cut a straight line. Like this is my hair, okay? Yep. You're gonna cut this, and then you're just- Underneath. Gonna cut underneath. Okay. Um, but then you can just remove the, the comb and just use your fingers all the way across. When do I remove the comb? You can remove the comb, I would say, after like the first cut. Okay. So also when you're cutting hair, you want to face the thing you're cutting. So I have an idea. Can you I'm, I'm not shaving my head. The little level. No. That's perfect. I've thought about it. It's unnecessary. This is this is a visual thing. It's art, baby. It's art. Um, Leonardo da Vinci used lines and a lot of geometric angles and stuff. So that was art, and he yes. also used math. Yes. So I don't feel like it. All right. But you don't want to pull the hair back from where it is. Right. You want to cut if you it. Pull it. It gets. It's an over directed. Angle. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It has to stay straight the yes. whole time. Straight yes. down. short. We're gonna have to come and definitely clean this up. That's okay. Uh, Not bad. Uh, it feels really good. Okay. And keep in mind I actually almost was thinking shorter than this okay. so this is good and my hair grows really fast so um, I just want to peep. Sure. <laughs> Not bad. It's going to look funny because it's fresh as opposed to wet hair. I guess I could have cut with wet hair, but I prefer with the straight. The yeah, faces. honestly, not bad. Right. We're gonna cut it a tiny bit more. You're going to point cut, and you will keep your fingers there, and you will keep them a little more tight. Um, so point cutting, you take the hair, and you just go diagonally up all the way across. So it's not going to look even anymore. It blends it out so it doesn't look harsh. Yes. Anyways, yeah. Centimeter from the bottom all the way around. Okay. Um, start wherever you feel most comfortable, I would say. I'm not just being nice. It actually looks really cute i feel adorable yeah. okay now let's do the second layer same story yep
Please don't stress about it. All right. All right. It'll look good. I'm going to put up under <laughs> hair on top of it. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> look how cute I am, That's though. That's adorable. I look like a moose. Mm. Okay. A moose? Make all the boy moose go, wah! It's a meme okay. of, of Sam Winchester and Supernatural mixed with Princess Diaries. Oh, so there's like a little yeah. bit here. Do you see that? Still. I could see why though, cutting hair as a profession, there's probably a temptation to like Maybe. keep going and keep going. All of a sudden you're like super short, like so yeah. Feel good? Yeah. I feel good. Good enough. Yeah. I think. Are you calm now because I'm calm? Yeah. Really? Yeah. If you would have been like, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It'd be fine. If you were doing that the whole time, I'd be like, <laughs> Well, that would be very productive in making you feel better, and if you didn't feel good, um, it wouldn't work well. Wow. So but also, up, I've I'm been not. fucking up the whole time. You're just like, I'm just super zen about it, but you're just botching my hair. I think we're just gonna leave it at that. Right. I think that might be it for you. You know where I am? I know where you are. You're gonna close this I know door? where you live. Yes. Right. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. You're a delight. Not too shabby. Oh, you know what I said about spending $15 on scissors? Spend more. We are going to thin it out a little bit. Like yay. And then we're gonna shear it out. I'm actually gonna clip half of this up. Do a little smaller section so it's a little more manageable for me. And we're going to go about an inch from the bottom. What the heck? I feel like that's not doing anything. Let's just call it good for right now and cut it all one length. Just now I'm gonna do temple sections and cut that. Cut this bitch. This isn't going too bad, I would say. Considering my hair hasn't been this short since uh, I was in sixth grade. My hair was ugly blonde color and my mom put it in a ponytail and snipped it short. Okay, time for new scissors. Some of you are going to hate this, but I, I love it. Once I have it texturized and then my bangs, oh, I need to show you my hair uh, before I um, throw it all away. So yeah, 
Um, and I cannot donate it because my hair was dyed previously. I haven't dyed it in a few years, but I know that there's probably still dye on the ends. So next time my hair gets long and I cut it again, I will be donating it. Um, I'm probably going to save it just in case if anyone has any recommendations, I will take them. So I am going to save my hair. I'm not sure if they can take it <laughs> as the mess it's in. Um, but, and I don't think it was long enough. I think you need like seven or eight inches and maybe that was seven or eight inches. I don't know. Come see my hair. Would you look at that for, for scale? It's a lot of hair. <laughs> wow. I guess it's gross. It's on the bathroom floor. Maybe I shouldn't donate it now. <sighs> Fuck. I didn't think that through. I'm going to pause for now and come back tomorrow with some new razor and then we will uh, thin this out and do my bangs. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, listen, it's been a few days <laughs> since I cut my hair last or Brian helped me cut my hair. We cut my hair at like nine o'clock at night and so after that I was just tired um, plus it turns out, please hold, but while I recommend going and getting real haircut scissors and a razor, <laughs> um, it turns out this razor is not as sharp as I remembered and neither were these scissors because unfortunately I'd been inappropriately using them to cut paper and tape. <laughs> They're not so sharp anymore and so I was like, screw it, I'm gonna go get a new set of razor and scissors. And that took like two days, if I'm being honest. So I went to Sally's and I got a new razor and new scissors. And I actually, I actually got some uh, thinning shears and these are 40 tooth as opposed to, you'll see here. So some of them will have wider spacing and teeth, and that's gonna cut off a lot more hair a lot more quickly. I want to be safe, so I decided to get smaller teeth and spacing so that I can be a little more careful. These scissors cost $23. The razor cost $9. Also, I'm like rounding up. These shears cost about $14, $13. So that is how much everything cost. When you cut short hair, it can go into a little triangle. And my hair, like I said, it's not thick. I just have a lot of it, so it looks thick. And I want my hair to fall a little more close to my head. So what we're gonna do is pick up about half the hair and hopefully this doesn't leave a huge dent in it. We are going to use the thinning shears. Now I've actually never used thinning shears. I've only used a hair razor. So we'll see how this goes and a good place to test this is on a lower to bottom layer of your hair so you can see what it's gonna do and basically I don't want to thin out the front my hair and typically people's hair tends to thin out more towards the front so I want to go more from like the side and back and also you want the teeth to be on top if you cut from under um, what happens is the hair from underneath you're just punching down hair and it stays on top. At least that's what I watched on the, the YouTubes. Um, and it just, you keep kind of hitting the same spot and it's not doing anything. That's what she said. I have the maturity of a 13 year old. You don't wanna go too high so your hair doesn't like stick straight out. I think I'm gonna go from about um, an inch or two from the bottom. And we're just gonna cut. Cut, cut. 
that worked nicely. Yeah. That's good. I realize afterward it's good to comb it out in between just so you can comb out the excess hair. What I'm doing right now is just like three little snips. Oh, that's a lot more hair than I was expecting, but that's okay. It feels so much nicer though already, actually. Maybe just two snips. Let's just do two snips. <laughs> three seems a little much. This is experimental, okay? You can judge me all you want. If you would like to give me tips down below, please do so nicely. I don't want to go too crazy, so I'm going to do probably one more like middle layer of that. We'll go at an angle this time. Hopefully that. Oops. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna kind of go in and do vertical sections. Like so. And you can also point cut with these. It'll just be a little bit more gentle of a point cut. Okay. And we have dents again. Okay. Apparently I forgot to turn the camera back on. I thought I turned it back on. Um, while I was straightening my hair, but I guess I didn't. So I straightened my hair <laughs> and I used a Remington cheap straightener I bought from either Target or Walmart a few years ago. If anyone has any recommendations for straighteners, please share with me which ones you use. Um, yeah, so the top part of the straightener doesn't, or that one works, the bottom one doesn't work anymore. It kind of does, but it takes like 20 minutes and it's if I keep like clamping it so that the top one reminds the bottom one, hey buddy, we need to hang it up. And it's like, okay. I did decide I want to do some mild point cutting with the thinning shears on my top layer, just because the ends on the top layer are just a little, little longer than the bottom half of my head. And that's my fault. I asked Brian to do that just in case he went too short. I'd rather be safe than sorry and fix it a little bit later if I can. So that's what I'm gonna do is a little bit of point cutting with these. And it's so subtle, but honestly they did, these already did such a good job at like kind of blending out the bottom from looking so blocky. So I'm a fan of these. Wow, this is open. That's cool. I just work here. We're gonna do a little hair razor action. I'm gonna test this on a bottom layer real quick just to be safe. Is this the same one as my last one? Yes. <laughs> it is from know if you can see it. It says from on there. Honestly, it works just about the same as my old one. Oh. So what I want to do is take small sections and kind of razor it a little angle toward the front. Let's compare that to the other razor. They're almost the same. So, actually, backtrack. What I'm gonna do is some really long point cutting on the top. 
and do longer piece and just cut up. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Kind of shaking that out so it spreads and I don't cut off too many clumps at once. So I'm kind of going back and forth in between the thinning shears and the regular ones. <laughs> Uh, just depending on how I feel and how I want things to look. This is totally trial and error. So if you're going to cut your hair really short, try and see how it looks when you do it on your long hair, just so you get a feel for what's going on. Um, this is definitely a learning curve for me. So don't expect everything to be perfect. I wanted everything to be like structured one length with a little softness on top and a little pieciness around the front. Um, I'll show you a picture here if I can figure out how to do that. This will be my first video, so please be nice to me. So I'm going in. Unfortunately, a decent razor is gonna cost a lot more. And unfortunately, it makes that horrid, like slightly scratching sound, and it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to do that, but. But it is. I know it's fucking up the cuticle, the ends of my hair, but I guess I could do a little bit of um, slide cutting. Let's, let's try. Huh, that could work. And I'm just like open, close, open, close, open, close as I work down the shaft a little bit. That works great too. If you don't have a razor, try this instead. I kind of already knew about it, but I was like nervous. I would like overly chop my hair. All right, let's do some bangs, guys. This is taking forever. <laughs> so for my bangs, I want to make sure that I don't go too far back. From what I understand, if you have a shorter forehead, you wanna bring hair back from a little bit further to make the illusion of a longer forehead. And then if you have a forehead like me, which is like four, four and a half fingers, I don't need to go too far back, but at the same time, I need to come back from somewhere. And that somewhere is when the hair's, the head starts to dip down here-ish. And just to be safe, I'm gonna go a little bit further down. I can always cut more and then I wanna go from my arches up and then I'll probably cut more if I need to. So about not there. I'm gonna put that behind my ear. Same thing. So my hair is gonna not fall perfectly how I want to because it's been, look, see how I let go and it has that space. It's just gonna take time for me to blow dry it down and back and forth to get it to learn to lay flat. So I'm, I'm fine with this right now, it's not a big deal. I'm going for a little bit of a fringe, but almost a bardo action, I think. I'm not sure. We'll see how how it ends. <laughs> and keep in mind, if you're pulling your hair straight, it's just going to bounce up higher. So I'm going to cut a little longer than what I want it. And that's going to be about here. I have not had bangs in years, okay? The last time I had bangs, they were straight across in high school. I cut them myself. And I wanted to look, sorry, no side note. 
I was watching America's Next Top Model and I saw a girl get a blunt cut and really long hair and I was like, oh my God, she's so high fashion and so cool. That's what I want to look like. So I did it and then I went to school the next day and everyone was like, oh, you're so cute. You look like a China doll. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I actually have only had bangs once or twice, once when I was really young and then that time I cut my hair or twice when I was young. Cause when I was a baby, my mom accidentally cut my bangs and then I had a mullet. And then another time, I think I was more like six and they looked more okay. And she kind of figured it out. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And what I want is like a little bit shorter in the middle and then have it a little bit longer and face framing in the side. Another thing to know is bangs and hair is kind of like contour for your head. So if you want your bangs to look wider, you can cut a wider triangle and that's gonna fall wider. Um, I guess this is what I've seen. Um, but I have a slightly wider forehead and kind of a round slash square shaped head. So I'm going to be cutting my bangs smaller and then have face framing like uh, little bits to kind of cut into my head shape. Whereas if, if you cut like straight and it goes all the way out here, you're going to make your forehead look wider. So we don't want that. I'm going to over direct my hair. I've seen this technique. It looks pretty foolproof ish. Okay. And what happens is my center hair strands stay the same length while the ones on the sides are over directed so they're gonna be longer. And then I'm just gonna finish that by holding. What I do is grab it with my non-dominant hand, twist it and grab it with my dominant hand, which is my left. I can actually do both sides cause I'm mildly ambidextrous and we're just gonna point cut. Oh, my eyes are getting cross-eyed. I'm gonna be so cute, I hope. I hope. But first, let me tell you about our forefathers. A little more. Also, if you pull your hair straight up with tension diagonally, you're gonna have like kind of a layery on top effect. So I wanna keep them down. Plus I can see a little better what's going on, okay. I think we're gonna do just that for now. Oh. 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 It looks really stupid right now, but it's gonna be cute. Now what I wanna do is put her away. And we're gonna do a slightly wider section that hits just outside the tail of my brow and do a little, little fringe. Kind of meeting at that same spot. We're just gonna tuck that. And then what I think I wanna do is, I wanna over direct my hair this way, about to my nose first, and we can always move our way up to meet this guy. I want to over direct it this way so that when it falls, it falls cascading. I'm going to let this side be a little longer so it's a little more. There we go. That's what I wanted. Wow. Okay. Now let's do that barely on this side. I want it to go like these. I don't know if I'm explaining anything well at all. Okay. Let's pull this down. Let's, let's give her a moment. So right here, I'm just wetting my hair and blow drying it back and forth to try to help 
get my hair to lay more straight without the cowlick and also get a better idea of how my bangs are going to look once that's fixed. First off, I think I need to resection some of it and do a little thinning out so it looks a little more wispy. I think I'm going to use my thinning shears here. I don't want to keep going shorter. I think I need to make a little bit more of a bang because some of this hair keeps wanting to fall forward and I don't want that to be a thing. So some of this is getting a little shorter. So at this point, I should have stopped cutting my hair. It pretty much looked how I wanted it, but I didn't take into consideration the model had her hair tucked behind her ears. So it would look slightly different, but I was getting nervous and doubting myself. So I nervously kept cutting past the point of no return. I made the rookie move that I didn't think could happen to me, but it did. We're all human, we make mistakes. Luckily, my hair grows back. Was this a mistake? just left it how it was. the way I thought. I'm not gonna lie, after that last clip, I went to my hallway and I cried. <laughs> Basically, my boyfriend had to convince me that it didn't look bad and that I didn't look like Lord Farquaad. I also reached out to a couple trusted friends and they said I looked adorable, so I gave it a chance. I styled it a little bit differently. I threw on some liner and lashes and a red lip and a cuter top and I feel a lot better about things. I did go about two inches shorter than I wanted to in the in the bangs, but I'm gonna embrace the Audrey Hepburn bang. I love her. She's an icon. She is my middle namesake, so I I will embrace it. It is a little more high maintenance, but I have come around and I think it looks really cute. Um, the length is perfect. I love how it is on the bottom. I understand that this is probably a roller coaster of a video. It started off strong, lots of confidence, calmness, and then it slowly 
became the uh, stereotypical get nervous and cut your bangs too short kind of thing. But overall it turned out fine and I like my hair. <laughs> so it does have that kind of French Parisian chic girl vibe. It wasn't the exact look I was going for, but still a look and I like it. Hopefully you like it. If you liked this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Why can't I stop using my hands?